Hello friends, I'm Kim Passable. We are embarking on a rather grand adventure. I'm in my car, not my van, because we have quite a bit of traveling to do, and not everyone's up for the maiden voyage of the van. Although, I think she would have made it. She would have been fine, but instead she's relaxing in the driveway. We are going to be going to Baltimore, Maryland, to the Dark Odyssey kink fetish campout event. Masks and vaccinations are required, so safety is, uh, you know, at its highest possible. I don't know exactly what I'll be doing, but I've never been to anything like this. I've been to club events, but never a multi-day campout event. So this is very exciting. I, I have a guide uh, who is coming with me and sharing some of the driving. And uh, I have busted my butt to um, satisfy my roommate's expectations so that I can leave for almost 10 days on this adventure. I'm going to try and vlog something every day um, and maybe compile a video of uh, uh, every two or three days. There's going to be a couple of videos one after another. There is no photography allowed inside the venue. So I'm going to be taking, uh, I'm going to be giving my, you know, vlogging my, what my experiences are like each day. Uh, probably from my tent or something like that if I am not too busy because I will get requests uh, for after hours type fetish um, engagements I'm sure I'm, I'm open to that I'm looking forward to stuff like that um, I enjoy that I'm an adult I'm allowed to have adult play as long as it's consensual the consent where it's like mutual ongoing and uh, enthusiastic right? I want everyone to want to be having this fun. And uh, that's what the kind of people who are going to be showing up. Half the time I might be wearing next to nothing. So we will see. Um, but wow, what an adventure. We are headed from Pittsburgh to DC. We're going to stay in DC overnight and then go on to Wednesday morning on to the event. So uh, it's probably Wednesday night, I would think, before I'm getting this out. What do you think? Have you ever considered going to an adult kink or fetish event? Camp out? Do you engage in consensual adult play? Um, sex play, fetish play, kink play? What are your kinks? What do you like? Sometimes I bought them, but I'm rarely submissive. Um, I like, don't like to be, let anyone else be in control. It's a trauma thing. Great. I'll tell you more when there's more to know. Time to drive. Maybe I'll do a photo, a driving montage. Yay, driving. Driving is hard. I had to do the entire drive on my own because Mel was too sick. We were supposed to split it. And I'm not upset. I, it just, boy, did that wear on me. It was... Not only was there someone sick beside me who I was unable to really console, and all we could do was just kind of keep going to get there. So that's what we did. We just drove. We stopped a couple times. Five hours apparently is good time to make it from Pittsburgh to Baltimore. So uh, in spite of those things, we got, we got there. We did finally sleep early, early in the morning. We finally were able to get her system settled down to the point where she fell asleep. I was able to sleep, move my car, $30 parking ticket. I love parking tickets. If you don't remember a previous video, I'm not going to link to it. We needed parking, so I guess we paid. Um, this city, unfamiliar cities, are really stressful driving for me. Really, really stressful driving for me. So I cannot wait. I'm between DC and Baltimore. I can't wait to get out of this driving. I apologize if the video is too bumpy or my car or windshield wipers are too noisy. I am now on my way to the north side of Baltimore, Maryland to, uh, to camp, to kink camp, to fetish camp. Huh? 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 
I got my flogger. Let me see if I can, find, I can reach it. My car is packed full of tents and camp out things and fetishy things and things that vibrate. And um, there's my flogger. I'm a kinky girl. I like to have fun. Enthusiastic and consensual adult fun is good stuff. You know, only live once, uh, explore, and uh, stay curious. And yes, I did sleep in this dress. I'm going to go. I'm going to get my things settled. I'm going to get a shower, put on a little bit of makeup, maybe put my contact lenses in, just, you know, brush up my hair so I can feel fresh, and then um, go meet some people. Hello friends, it's Kim Passable. Well, I made it to camp and I'm registered in and the rain has sort of stopped for the moment, but everything is flooded and swampy and I'm exhausted. I drove five hours last evening until like one o'clock in the morning and then I drove another, oh, it felt like, I think it was only two hours, but it felt like longer from DC up here to Baltimore, Maryland. Um, so I am exhausted. It's about dinner time. Uh, so I, oh, maybe I'll go down to the dinner hall and, um, meet some people, but I, I'm just, I'm going to like rest my head for a few minutes. I'm really excited, but it's not enough to overcome just like total exhaustion. And, uh, I need to put some makeup on because first impressions are, you know, important.